All right, so it snowed, and uh, I'm gonna go enjoy the day. Okay, so I'm in West Seattle. I just dropped my girlfriend off at work and uh, I thought I'd do something a bit different today. What's in my minimalist camera bag? So instead of me just being at a particular table going through what's in my bag, I figured why not actually go out, try and shoot some cool stuff and show you actually how I use my camera bag. So yeah, in West Seattle, nice view of the Seattle skyline. It's pretty nice. It's a little chilly. Not that much snow out here. First things first, this bag. Ugh. Thank you, Kara, for getting me this bag. I got this recently for a secret Santa gift. It's uh, super nice, but as you can see, it has my tripod on the bottom. It's nice, minimal design, but uh, I'm gonna set up my tripod over here, um, take off the camera, and uh, try and get a nice picture of the uh, Seattle skyline before uh, heading out to my next location. I made it to Gasworks because it's super pretty out here and uh, some good photos. But um, if you didn't know, oh snap, I am using the Gorilla Pod to hold my camera, but it's sliding everywhere because my roof is super icy. But that's right, we're gonna go check out, let me get my gloves, we're gonna go check out Gasworks and uh, yeah. See how uh, pretty it is. And I can show you more what's in my camera bag. All right, let's go. It's funny, all that uh, yellow snow, that's uh, pee, if you uh, weren't aware. Because uh, snow's white, so if you see brown, brown snow, that's extra bad. <laughs> uh, people are sledding over there, but um, yeah, no, this is uh, super, super nice out here. Gorilla pod, you know, so I'm carrying that. One thing that I also have in my little kit is a variable ND filter. If you don't know what that is, here, let me see. Let me take it off. I'm probably super blown out or you can't even see me, but that's what uh, the variable ND filter does. Uh, let me see. So, put this back on. Let me double check. should be good you should be able to see me now um, so that's gonna be linked down below it's super small but it's very very important to be able to shoot in a in the middle of the day super sunny day to be able to you know have the correct exposure if you want to have your uh, f-stop wide open like I'm shooting at f 2.8 right now so it has a nice little blurry background or whatever but uh the variable ND filter allows me to do that. Yeah, this works is pretty nice. But yeah, so that's what I'm holding right now. But uh, I'm gonna find a place where I can sit down and then show you what is actually inside my backpack. Um, Cause it's really not that much. All right, hope I'm in frame. Uh, I wanted to get uh, the Seattle uh, 
Seattle skyline in the background. Let's go over this bag. This bag is a Caden bag. It is, uh, I got it from a, my friend Kara. I'm gonna have it linked down below. It's not that expensive. It's 40, 50 bucks, but it's great. It's uh, weather resistant on this side. The straps are super comfortable. And as you can see, it's super minimal. And I'm able to keep my uh, tripod strapped to the bottom. You can have whatever. Uh, sometimes if I'm not bringing the tripod and it's just my Gorilla Pod, I have it strapped here. In here, let's get the zipper open. This front pocket, my wallet's in here. But the only thing I really keep in here is Zeiss lens wipes. You get like a pack of 50 for like 10 bucks. It's gonna be linked down below, but this is what I use to clean the lens. Uh, super small. I always have a, like a few of these in my bag. You never know what's gonna happen if your screen's dirty or if there's little smudges. This is always great. Yeah, sometimes I have my phone in here, sometimes my keys, but yeah, this front pocket, super simple. Now, it's kinda chilly. Open up this main pocket, this main compartment, and here, you can put a 14 inch laptop. I usually you don't, know, if I'm going out to shoot, I'm not gonna bring my laptop with me. But then if I'm traveling, then that's a whole different setup. But nine times out of 10, I'm not bringing a laptop. And you have this little compartment here. There's uh, two pockets to hold some things. If you wanna put like a mini tripod, batteries, whatever, you can put that in here. Mind you, I don't keep my batteries there but it's empty, but I have extra space, so that's nice. The main thing is down here, there's zipper, easy access on the right side, and also same on the left side. Zip those down. I'm gonna open up the right side, and this slides out, and this is where I usually drop the camera, in here. I put the microphone in the side, but you can uh, fully adjust um, based on your camera, you guys know the deal. Most camera bags have that, but for my X-T3, it just slips right in there, and then, uh, yeah, it slides right in, nice and small. And I like that it's a super low profile. Now, on the right side, <laughs> I can't talk out here, it's cold. Okay, let's uh, try and wrap this up. On the right side, I have my Fuji batteries. I have one here in this pocket, there's like a side pocket here. And then I have two more in this bottom. So I keep a total of four batteries with me just because uh, you always wanna have enough battery to be able to uh, you know, shoot all day. Uh, I might get an external battery pack specifically for the Fuji X-T3, which uh, would just extend the battery life. But yeah, keep my batteries here on this side. My fingers are frozen. This is crazy. Uh, all right, so now the other side, there's one big compartment and over here, this is where I keep my little case for my ND filter. If I'm not using the ND filter, say the lighting isn't as drastically crazy, then I slip that ND filter in here. It's a nice neoprene pouch. Close this up, put it in the side, super easy access and uh, yeah, I always have it with me. So that's it. That's pretty much everything that's inside my bag. Talked about the bag. Um, there's also this little uh, secret little compartment back here where you can put your phone, your wallet, keys. Now, we gotta talk about this right here. This is my Peak Design Clip. What this clip does, it allows me, so say I'm running gun shooting, I put this backpack on and I can have my camera just hanging right here. Click this button, pops off, and uh, yeah, it's easy to go. Let me try and show you. You're hanging from my strap. Um, it's really hard to see. Um, I wish I had a better vantage point. But now, I can just pop you off like that and it's super easy. But yeah, peak design. That's also gonna be linked down below. It's super easy to use. My hands are freezing right now. So, that is my minimalist camera bag. I'm walking down to the water right now. Uh, it was super cold up there. My hands are freezing, but uh, probably should end this video. Super peaceful down here. All right, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, you found me. And until next time, peace.